let's do some angular speed stuff. It says a neighborhood has a carnival with a merry-go-round whose diameter is 50 feet. I'm going to do this without using formulas. I'm just going to use logic. 50 feet diameter. So there's my diameter. That's 50. Um, it takes 80 seconds to make one revolution. So 80 seconds, whoops, 80 seconds equals one revolution. That was a fail. Let's try this differently. 80 seconds equals one revolution. This is a conversion factor. So I know that 80 seconds per one, I can either write 80 seconds over one revolution or I can write one revolution over 80 seconds. At any point, I could use that as a conversion factor. Can you use the second one? I, I don't know which one I want to use, but I'm going to use whichever one I need when I need it. All right, so it says, um, what this is part A, what is the angular speed in radians per second? What's the angular speed? I'm not going to write a formula. I'm just going to think about what it's saying. It's saying, how many angles does this go through in radians per second? How many radians does this go through every second? So that's 2 pi radians. One revolution is 2 pi radians. Oh, listen to what I just said. One revolution is 2 pi radians. There's another unit circle. One revolution equals 2 pi radians. That's one... That's, I said unit circle. That's a, that is another conversion factor. One rev equals two pi radians. Or I could say two pi radians equals one rev. I could use either one of those conversion factors, and that's all I'm going to do. So let's write this out. I've got one revolution per 80 seconds. And I want to know what the radians per second is. Well, I have seconds here already. All I need to do is convert revolutions to radians. So I have to find some way to relate revolutions and radians to each other, and oh, there it is. Because one revolution is equal to two pi radians. That's what a revolution is. So I'm going to put revolutions on the bottom because they'll cancel out. And I'm going to put radians on the top. So I want to use this one right here. 2 pi ra radians equals 1 revolution. And when I multiply this out now, notice the 2 and the 80 will cancel. That gives me pi over 40 radians per second. And that's what they wanted, radians per second. So there's my answer. All right, the other part, part B, is asking what's the linear speed in feet per second. Well, we're going to do the same thing. Part B, we're going to do the linear speed. Well, here's the, here's the angular speed, so let's write that out. Radians per second, and I want it to be, here's what I like to do. I like to put a bunch of things here, and then at the end I'm going to put feet per second. And I want everything to cancel out except feet and seconds. I probably don't need this many conversion factors, right? In fact, I don't because I already have seconds. All I need to do is somehow convert radians into feet. So the radians is going to be on the bottom. And how are radians and feet related to each other? So let's get rid of all these extra ones because, you know, I don't need all those. How are radians and feet related to each other? Well, there's formulas you can have and everything, but let's just think about this. Here's my... Here's my circle up there. How are radians and feet related? Pi R squared. It's the circumference, the circumf the circumference of this. So 50. Yeah. So 2 pi r, the circumference of a circle is 2, 2 pi r, or d pi. Pi times d is the circumference. So and one circumference, that's that's. Um, so that's 50 pi. One circumference around, which is equal to 50 feet. I'm sorry, 50, 50 feet is the diameter. So 50 times pi is the circumference of my, of my merry-go-round. And so that's that many feet. It's 50 pi feet equals how many radians? How many radians go through Two. one full circle? Two pi radians goes through one full revolution and one full revolution if you imagine rolling that out on the ground is equal to a circumference 
So that's 50 pi feet. That's all you had to do. Cancel the pies out. Let me change colors here. Cancel the pies out. Cancel the 2 and the 50. You get 25. Cancel 25 and 40. You get 5 over 8. So you got 5 pi over 8. And the radians canceled feet per second. And if they want, if you want to write as a decimal, you can do that as well. But that's the exact answer. So let me again go back and explain the most basic thing you have to remember. And I'll do that up here. One revolution, going through one revolution, or let's say if it's, a lot of times you get problems like this with tires. One revolution of this tire, imagine one revolution. That's the rate, that's the angular speed. Your angular speed is converted to linear speed. Imagine the circumference of this tire right here. It's going to complete one full revolution in 360 degrees or 2 pi radian. And that is equal to whatever the circumference of your circle is. This is linear. Rate, radians and revolutions is angular. That's how you convert them. That's why the formula is so simple, which I'm not even going to mention here because you don't even need to know that formula. If you understand the concept behind it, you can figure it out.